Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your captain today, Helen, along with Who's Matrix here at your service? And welcome back to all the mob seven in Minecraft. Um yeah, we've done a bit of work outside of the streams just to just to not have to grind everything all the time. Uh we didn't really do much here. We did dump a bunch of loot in here. As you can see we found we got some slime balls. We've got some other equipment from a dungeon that we'll I'll show off later. William, uh, I see the red box. Yep, yeah, that, that's because in middle the of the screen. He's selected. Ah, there you go. Much better. Yeah. Uh, just to show off that, since I now mentioned it. Uh, yeah, this I <laughs> I slapped that quickly together from a, <laughs> just an image I found in case we have well technical difficulties at some point okay first off this is all new as is this this is all part of tinkers or tinkers construct uh, basically it allows you to smelt stuff and then pour it out into casts uh, or to just pour blocks entirely out of it the reason you want you would want to use this stuff is because you get more out of each bar uh, each uh, ore than just one ingot. For example, if we were to drop, uh, yes, we also got to found some diamonds and stuff. <laughs> uh, let's make a quick bar out of these, just as a showcase. Oh, uh, give me a second, chat. I'll just, I drop this. Uh, let's see, Prime C O six. So, uh, welcome to the stream. Let's see. Uh, what's up, Helen? Hey, welcome. A long time no see you. Uh, sorry I was gone for so long, my PC and uh, phone were broke, but prop don't remember any. But we met uh, when you were playing Slime Rancher. Uh, I do remember I do remember the name Pramsey, I do remember that bit, and yeah, that's <laughs> that's uh, sad to hear that that happened to you. But yeah. good to hear that, well, you, one, of, one or the other has been fixed in the meantime. Yeah, I may remember you as well. Do you back then before I could see the chat? Now I can see this chat, which means I hopefully be able to remember people in future. Okay, that is good to hear. How how are you otherwise? And yeah, uh, Drakir can see not only the stream but also OBS, so that gives him a bit more insight on everything. Or so he before he could only see the game as well, so now he sees the same as as the chat does, as anyone watching would. Uh, along with some extra stuff that isn't really well important. Uh, oh, it's, I think it's not war. It's, it's not generating enough heat to melt the gold. It seems. Uh, can it melt iron? Yes, it can. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, this is just oh. a demonstration. You, this thing can't store heat, so anything you put in there is going to get burnt up no matter what. This is going to drop, and. Oh, I think I know what's going on. It can't. It can't alloy. It can't handle multiple uh, metals of this different. It can't handle different metals. So we need to find some copper. Yeah, and uh, I'm, I'm all well over here. Uh, 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 Prams. I can barely read the name. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now finally to show. Uh, and uh, it immediately runs out, of course. It, well, yeah, it uh, how about you, Helian? Oh. Says our the audience asking. Uh, doing pretty well, and I forgot you. You can smelt ores into. Yep. You know, I'll put I'll put it as basic as possible. When you put ores in here, you get more out of it than just one ingot. Yeah, with this you get three nuggets for free as well. And with Ooh. this thing over here, the smell tree, uh, you get even more, I think. And you can actually put in more metals at the same time, but they will also alloy together. And yeah, Tinkers is probably one of... Tinkers is basically required as a mod for basically anything. Specifically for these things here, the hammers. Careful and... now! Yeah, what... The hammers, it, basically, why they are practically a necessity once you get into modding, because once you start with them, you do not want to go back no matter what. Because, as you can see, or not here, with 
the excavator is the same, but for shovels, you can mine in big areas of 3x3, three three, and you can even have that enhanced as well. Which makes digging around a hell of a lot faster and easier. Yeah, and considering making your own inside a mount design might be the safest, it definitely makes it a lot easier. Also, we randomly found this here uh, whilst we were going around exploring. And yeah, apparently we completely missed that there was a hut built here, though don't ask me whose this is, because the inhabitants, uh, well, either died or ran off somewhere. <laughs> yeah, what were they call again? I'm not, I don't even know what generated this. One of the mods must have, but there's it, there's over 300 mods and in, uh, mods installed, so it's impossible to tell which it might have been. Hello, Gavin. Uh, we haven't done much with the farm. We have well, we have bred the chickens and the cows once, which isn't much. We put up this right. fence to keep Gavin from getting <laughs> himself hurt on everything prickly here. Yeah, and yes, that we 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 named it, or rather, I named him Gavin, the uh, still clothed uh, villager. Yep. Uh, let's store some stuff. We are still carrying things from that dungeon. So we might as well stash that away. We're keeping the saddle in case we find any horses or such. Uh, for now, we can stash the rest. Yeah, also keeping that on me. What we are certainly taking with is the town hall. And uh, where's the, there's the construct the build tool. Okay. Put that away. And yeah, since we got some diamonds, I'm immediately going to just make a, a pickaxe out of it because that's going to be so freaking handy with some things. Uh -huh. Stick specifically doesn't look like it. So we'll just make some. Uh -huh. it, it seems like someone found the uh, slash D <laughs> command. But yeah, we have a Discord set up. It isn't too big or active, but it really doesn't have to be. Just me, Drakir, some other people, yeah, and just hanging hey. around most of the time. I think you just joined it, Cillian. Okay, <laughs> glad to have you along. Uh, let's stash the oh dear. I, We're definitely going to need to build an up a storage area as soon as possible. But for now, let's continue the tour of what we found. And one of the things that was right underneath our, our nose was this thing. A lunar stone brick gate. Which is specifically one of the gates that uh, Gavin's book warned us about that leads to a different dimension. Uh, oh yeah, dear. There is one thing we hadn't built yet with, the, well, with all of this now and this Tinker's Anvil. Which is an upgraded Tinker's, uh, uh, what is not a part build crafting station. Uh, not a crafting station, uh, what was it called again? Let's see. Uh, at Tinker. Yeah, a Tinker station. Uh, basically, you need this to get access to some of to the second stage of weapons and I, weapons and tools, which are the cleaver. The excavator, the vein hammer, the sledgehammer, broad axe, and scythe. And we're going to make a tinker's anvil. Then not a tinker's anvil. We already made one. We're going to make um, a broad axe, so we're going to have an easier time uh, tearing down trees and such. Uh, actually, did I, I? Okay, we're missing one of the chests for the well, the casts. Which is how you make metal items with Tinker stuff. You make a bit. Actually, I, can, I think I can show it probably. Uh, we need one iron for that. Then we're going to need stone. Let's see if andesite counts. What we um, first do is we go here. to the art builder. We put that in there. And it, then we select what we want. In this case, it's going to be a broad axe head. Then we're going to put that in here. 
this thing is already fueled. It has some tin left over in it, but that should not interact with the gold. And yeah, with the small tree, heat will only be used up when something is actually smelting. So it's very useful for keeping that stored. Then we select the gold to move it down. And then we pour it out over the parts that we have put in, which does destroy it, but it gives us a cast of that stuff. So we can actually pour, make molten, not molten, we can make metal parts. So let's see, diamonds don't interact with that, with the smelters at all, to my knowledge. I don't think that's been added in at any time. Uh, let's see, Let, let's take some iron for this, since we have a good amount of that. Um, yeah, yeah, I agree with you, Pimansi. Uh, adding stuff for armor for this mod would be awesome. There actually is a, a Tinker's mod for armor, but that hasn't been updated since uh, version 1.12 or something, I think. Whoa, that's a while. Yeah. Again, we select the metal we want. You can also see, or sort of see, what metal is currently at the bottom by the color here. We just pour it in and wait for it to cool. There we go. That sound is that it marks that it's finished. And we go here and put that in. And we're also going to need a big, it also says here, tough handle, a pick head, and a tool binding. Uh, for those, we can just bring, uh, yeah, we can use, just use stone and wood at the moment to just be done with it quickly. Uh, turn that into planks. We go here. Um, was it a pickaxe head? Yes, it was. And there. And then a tough bind. No, just a normal tool binding, I think it was. Oh, we're out of those. So, stepping out for that for a second. Making some sticks. And there we go. Neat. This is something they put in for a bit of balancing. Before you could make a pattern of each thing, of each part, uh, but that would really that would lead to you having to store stash up one for each of these, and it used to be a lot more than this. So in a way, I do like that they well sort of um, nerfed that a bit. Okay, we select it again. We put those parts in. There we go, an iron and a side broad axe, and we can go and show it off immediately. Uh oh, uh, have yet, Elian? We do have something special to show on this stream today. And yes, this is all the mod seven with Project E added on for the, well, to make things a bit easier. But yeah, that is what the broad axe allows to do. It allows for tree capitation, basically cutting down the entire tree in one go. It's well makes farming Re trees a hell of a lot of These are trees, not ends. <laughs> hey, now that that's been showed off, there is one more thing about, or actually two. So let's go put that wood away. Let's get some food so we can finally run again. Yeah. Not to use those golden apples. So we, this special thing we have to show we've been saving just for the stream. We, we shall bring on the ground. Yep. Uh, stash this again. Yeah, we're definitely going to need something. Where did that come from? Uh, let's bring one of these swords. I think Gavin is criticizing you again. <laughs> we could just lock him in his place by just putting a block in front of his door. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. We're. First thing that we're going to show now is going to lead to the second thing, and that is, well, we made a quick way down. Wait, what mods are all the mods? There's 300 mods! How should we know? It's <laughs> 314 at the moment. Uh, but yeah, there should be somewhere that I can take a look at that. It, it, it has create for one, which I don't know much about, but apparently is very, is very well liked. Uh, is there a mod resource packs? Okay, it has these resource packs, which are... Well, they're, they're mods that give access to resources. 
uh, yeah, sources for 330 mod files. Um, yeah, the seven is something else. Uh, why is it reloading now? Also, I should did you click have something? Timer. I just clicked away, so it shouldn't do anything. Still, uh, these mod packs, especially the big ones, can get a bit finicky whilst they are loading. So it's best to just act like they are a T Rex and sit still and don't move at all. Um, sorry to burst your bubble, but that doesn't work. Uh, no, it it it's uh, it's called all the uh, mod seven because it's version seven. There were six iterations before it. <laughs> And yeah, yep. I know that it's a miss with T Rexes and that. Yeah, T Rex is about like five times better eyesight than an eagle. <laughs> I should actually look if there's a compatible dinos and dinosaur mod for this as well that we could stick in. Because, like I said, at the moment, this is all the mod 7 plus the Project E mod added in as well. Uh, one extra shouldn't destabilize a anything. And. But yeah, it, hmm, I say that it's been on this for quite a bit now. Yeah, I feel like maybe on Steam, don't feel with that. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's give it about another minute before we, well, start interacting with things and probably breaking it and then having to wait an extra time for it to start up again. Yeah, for the issue we have with this mode, is, it's like with Ark. The more big mods you have, the longer it's going to take to load it. There we go. Yeah. Um, the other thing that is that we lit up this place. We also... we all This used to flow down into here, giving making a wall of... Well, a literal wall of a waterfall. But we just made this staircase with a bit of decorative waterfall next to it. And we also lit yeah. up... Well, a big ass area here, which I'll just show all the way to the end. And this is where we'll be setting up our village or our colony. So I saw something that way, but no. <laughs> but yeah, this is a big ass area that we've lit up. It's because the mine colony stuff uh, takes up a lot of space as well. But yeah, the Should center of the colony is going to be around here. Yep, we also have probably this hill to remove, but then it should be smooth uh, enough smooth uh, for the the start of uh, the hill Drake colony. Yep. So let's just flatten this out a bit, then we can start construction of the town hall. And uh, yeah, get started with Mine Colony. Where it's, it, it takes a lot of resources, but once it you have a lot of things automated with it, through NPCs, it is quite, it's quite satisfying and quite useful. Because... It also makes yeah, the world feel more alive. Yeah. You're going to have to be you know, putting in a lot of resources into it at first, but eventually you'll be able to have your colony start producing stuff it themselves. Just using the commands to see where there might be spawns or not, covering those areas up. And the music picks a good moment to pick up for once. Yep. And about music, I've been listening a lot to Heroes of Might and is free music. And bloody heck, many people make good covers on those. Okay. If there's something Heroes games since the third game and fourth, even though fourth was not that great, but all, all of them, along with five, had some damn good music. Let's remove this death mark here. And let's take a look. With this, with this build tool, we can well, put down previews of items or of structures to see how big they are going to end up. 
and as yeah, well let's... as yes, cycle them there through their tier levels. Yeah, Let, let's go for Dwarven one. Yeah, here we have the type that it is <clears throat> the type of structure that we're looking for. In this case, we only have a town hall, but we could look to other things like decorations. And this is the type or the prime the prime theme of the object. So we have Acadia, Asian, Birch, Caledonia, Dark Oak, Fortress, Incan, Jungle, Lost City, Medieval Birch, Medieval Birch Alternate, Medieval Dark Oak, Medieval Dark Oak Alternate, Medieval Oak, Medieval Oak Alternate. Just a bunch of them. Nordic. Sandstone, Space Wars, Stone. And then we have True Dwarf True. In here. Yes! Warped, Wooden, and then we cycle back. And yeah, on, <laughs> on your Kia's request, we're going to go with the Dwarven style as best as we can. Uh, we can move it around like this, like we did with the ship earlier. Move it back, closer, up and down. And yeah, let's see. It's... Okay, it's a big ass area that it's covering, actually. So let's have it like that. Yeah, you seem to have a little bit more things to. Uh, there we go. Let's turn it around a bit again. How big of an area is this covering? I, th I think we're actually going to have to dig into the freaking ceiling as well with this. <laughs> or lower I, I it down. Doubt I don't think the ceiling's needed. Uh, well, look over there. Uh, what? Let's let's preview the. Yeah, that explains why the the last level of this is quite big, as you can see. Okay, so we're going to have to lower this down, and of course, we it's only a preview. We can't actually stand on this. So that water wasn't here before, so that's a bit odd. Uh, I think I yeah, found maybe, it. Maybe just go with stone then. So that is still a lot of wood in there. Let's see. What are your lower levels? Still a lot of clay that we're going to need for those shingles. So. Yeah, yeah I say it's true dwarven. As well, uh, we would probably get a lot of materials for just uh, making room for it. See, let's not have it clip into this pillar here. Yeah, that's, it's a nice pillar. Uh, check its upper ones. Uh, let's move it one further away. So even at max level, we have a little walkway through here. Um, yeah, we're going to have to lower it down. Hmm. How high is that counting, or is that very high? Okay. Why? It, it doesn't look that high. It, it, for some reason, it demands a lot of space above it. For some reason. Hmm. Or wait, are we misinterpreting the things I have? Maybe. For now, let's have it be. At this level, then, and check around. Was this water here now or not? Or have we broken that open accidentally? Hmm. No, no, that water was there before. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's move it back and down some. Yeah, part of it is going to end up floating. But that can be fixed. Yeah. And yeah, over there is the dungeon that we broke into and found a lot of our stuff in. Um, let's twist you around again. Okay, it's just it's just <laughs> it's just going to be thick, no matter which way is facing forward or not. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be an issue of building underground that we'll have to dig out the ceiling as well at multiple points. Now though, yeah, let's just have least, it be in around the middle. At least we have the ha hammer to make the thing easier. Just imagine you just use your normal 
diamond pickaxe to ra make the roof uh, taller. Yeah. Um... And we could always use dynamite. Let's have it be there. We'll have to dig out a hell of a lot here. And let's see. So placeholder blocks. Blocks at these positions will not be changed on placement. What? I don't know specifically what it means with that, but let's place it down. And now we'll have to dig out where the, the core of it is. So we can actually... Well, put in the uh, materials for building. Well, at least we have the hammer. Yep. We can actually make it even faster still. And it should be around here somewhere. If not, well, we're going to have to dig out this area anyways. Crush! Uh, we're definitely going to have to build a backpack sooner or later as well, because, yeah, that'll give us a lot more space for carrying stuff around. Um, uh, hmm. I should have kept a, big, a better eye at where it actually put down the, uh, the structure uh, starts. <clears throat> because, yeah, it, it removed the block that that bit was placed in, but it it didn't put anything in to highlight it outside of the, uh, well, outside of the build tool. And actually, if we press, um, can we see where it might be? Um, okay, no, that's not going to highlight it. Uh, we might have... I, I hope we can find it again, because otherwise we're going to have to make another one of those. Hmm. Oh, yeah. This area is going to be safe anyways, since we lit everything up. The only dangerous yep. place is going to be where we dig in here now. Yep, and there. I suspect we're going to need these stones to actually build it. Yep. So we're digging out, out space for it. Let's run for the materials for it. So, is it a case of two birds with one stone? Sort of. And uh, if we find any redstone, we can use that to speed up the digging speed. It, yeah, you can add uh, modifiers to your uh, tinker's items. Like, uh, well, speed up. Where did it freaking put it? I definitely should have kept a better eye out for that. Oh, those are... That's Cinnabar. Okay. I don't actually know what that does. For now, let's just keep soaking... <laughs> soaking... Seek... Uh, looking... For our freaking town hall. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit confused. When we build a boat, it told us where to dig out. Yeah, that was because Why it was it... going to plonk down the entire thing in one go. Oh, this one we have to right. build ourselves. Okay, yeah, that I feel a bit they should have done with that with the regular business as well. Just so you know where you need to dig out. Hmm. Where is it? <laughs> it should be somewhere around here. It shouldn't be below this level. Hmm. Maybe it's deeper inside? Maybe more towards this way. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is! Hello! Uh, create your new colony. Yes, there we go. Word is out about a newly founded uh, colony. Soon the first settlers will join your colony if there is enough space around the town hall. Experienced governors can turn off these helpful messages. Uh, well, I'm not an experienced governor, so I'm going to keep that on. <laughs> all right. Uh, Starting server backup? Yeah, we're all going right. to need all of that. Yeah, it's, it's just the internal server saving things. 
Oh, and there's right. our first settler. Uh, hello, ma'am. They now this now the entire area has been bordered off for where the town hall is going to be built. Okay, that will help us a lot. Yep. And like it said, it is advised to build a builder's hut now. So let's do we have yeah. any yeah. wood on us to make yeah. a quick chest? No. Will the builders help mine out the area? Yep. yep. Wrong item. There, just dump some stuff into there so we can collect this before it vanishes. <laughs> Maybe we should brought some some uh, chests. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Not good enough, eh? <laughs> okay, she's currently idle. This is the NPC's skills, and as you can see, they are pretty pretty low at the uh, moment. Oh, look at her intelligence. Uh, the, L intelligence. the bottom. Uh, yeah, one. <laughs> Not the smartest cookie around. Uh, here you, we can see requests, like for materials, uh, equipment, and, uh, well, for food and such. Their inventory, they've picked up some of the stuff that we dug out. And Elementopedia, new chapters, okay. Uh, but the level one, get, the fuck is that? Oh, yeah, it's... <laughs> I read that as level one, but no, it's our second uh, settler. It's your who goal. has five dexterity, six agility, five stamina. Okay, these are quite a bit better already. Very <laughs> happiness. He also had one intelligence. Yeah. yeah, well, they have to be pretty dumb if they're going to move to a colony that's underground. <laughs> hey. Nothing wrong, leave it underground. Uh, whilst we're. Oh, yes, we are definitely blocking this off. Ah, oh, that, that, yeah, that's going to be a bit of an issue, uh, <laughs> Pramsey. And we should probably wall off a bit if our colonies are going to wander around like a bunch of idiots. But they are both literally idiots with one intelligence. I, Good point. I don't trust who need the lava. Uh, case in point. Surely that's not Shilly. No, they're probably uh, dead. Hillian, she's running through with the auto lava. Uh, yeah, there goes our first colonist and probably our first casualty as well. Okay, just blocking all of this off. Yep, they're, they're still alive. Surprisingly. Okay, come back here, you... <laughs> are, are you looking for the monsters or something? I get to build it again? Uh, we can't really tell her to follow us, so I guess we'll just have to wait and see <laughs> if she wanders back. Uh, we probably don't need to give her the billers hot and just put them both to work. Yeah. Uh, for now, let's wall off a bit so they don't go wandering around like that too much. I, hadn't, I didn't actually think they would move that far away on their own. Uh, then again, the only other colonies I've built so far have been on well, elevated ground, so they were literally couldn't leave. <laughs> No, I I built walls around before, I believe. Either way... Yeah, she'll have to find her way back through this gap here. Did, is she under attack or something? I, I think I saw her on fire. <laughs> yeah, she is on fire. And, yeah, there we go. First death by a creeper. <laughs> uh, yeah... You don't want your colonists to die, though, since, well, like it says here, the citizens will mourn tomorrow out of respect, which means that they won't work at all tomorrow. Not that they're going to work now anyways, since there is nothing for them to do at the moment. Okay. Oh, bloody heck. 
Yeah, the colonists aren't the smartest. Literally, one intelligence. <laughs> one! Oh, but there's a new one already. Tell me they have a bit more... Moss? Oh, there's, there's a few more already. I see a Tyler K. Crisp and a Sawyer and, and the, another one spawns in as well. Uh, All right, yeah, the, the, the town hall can hold a few colon or can house a few colonists, but we'll have to build actual housing soon enough. Yeah, the question is, uh, where should we build the builder hut? Uh, right next to it would be the best case. For now, we are going to just finish off walling everything so <laughs> these lemmings don't get themselves killed too often. We do have plenty of stone for this from digging all around. And that isn't going to expose. Nope, it's not going to expose any new danger areas. Okay. Yeah, so this is what we can uh, break down later once we get the things a bit more organized. Then we have some proper walls. And one are you know, when our colonists develop a survival instinct. Oh uh, yeah, this will be able to make a fountain off. We can just have it sealed off for now, so it's not just flooding. Okay. Um, first off, food. Let's see. We have Melissa v. Cobham now there. We have Tyler K. Crisp. Let's hope he doesn't burn to a crisp. <laughs> I get to build it again? Let's see. Good strength and stamina. Good creativity and knowledge, but also as dumb as a brick. <laughs> and Tyler, I'll you are athletic and dexterous, also high stamina and mana, but also dumb as a brick. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Kate and Sawyer. Oh, hello. That border on the minimap. Is that the size of our colony at the moment? Or the, 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 it the might be. Of our land? I it, it could be. Could be. And if, if that is, then that's very helpful. That will tell us where we need to make the walls later. Yep, and another one of them got them. Really, I forget one little spot and they immediately climb over and kill themselves. Okay, where is your... Did you really just go down into the... Uh... Now, they didn't have anything on their inventory, or they couldn't do that. Where... How the hell... How did they get there? Yeah, we're definitely going to have to just... <laughs> be a semi-fascist state and block these idiots in for their own good. But this is the way they went. Let's just have a look and light it up for safety. Yes, yeah, spiders. Theodore! <laughs> uh, nom 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 nom. Nothing in their grave. end it there we can go yeah. look there more another time yeah let, let's take oh, a you're one of those this is a well what? defender i don't actually know what they do with that beam or I, I think they try to draw you closer or something yeah he dropped something that yes. red Weld and spike. Drop some weld and defenders found in cold biomes. Cold? Biomes? cold? 
Uh, let's see. Uh, is there anything here that says about... I, I thought I had assigned this thing more memory, not the 8 Tade over there. Uh, oh. Okay, that <laughs> It gives a lot of stuff if you point it at something here. Uh, it, okay, these are planes, apparently. Where is... Okay. Weeping Witch Forest? Alright. Let's put that away before we give anyone a seizure or something with the data overload. Uh, hello, you little sneaky shit. And they're called stalkers for a reason. They're quiet. Okay. Now that that's been dealt with, quick clean up here. We can leave these graves be. We can't. They didn't have anything on them, and they will eventually crumble. And they can't get in there. There shouldn't be any other ways for them to really go. They could go this way, but I, so far, they're content just playing in the lower areas. Still, let's put down a line if they do start heading this way. need some wood because we need to build a builder's hut or at least um, there we go that it requires planks a door and a build tool so we need to go get that we're definitely going to need to start a tree farm down here um, up until we can build a carpent you know a woodcutter's hut to automate that instead Oh dear. But yeah, for the most part, this place should be safe and secure. For the most part. <laughs> Emphasis on that. And yeah. With this over here now, it, that, that actually looks pretty nice with the coloring from the night sky come pouring in. We can get up and down quite a bit. Well, I'm not sure if this is actually quicker than just hopping around up the waterfall, but still. It's a it's a nice way to get back up. Yeah, and we do plan to get some waystones, like have one on the surface and one down below. Yeah, we just need a bunch of ender eyes for that and purple dye. Or we just you know, we need to go rob a village of theirs. I can see us do that, provided it's an uninteresting village. Okay. Gavin. <laughs> okay, the first time he's back in his house, I'm blocking him in. <laughs> okay, first day, and we've already lost two colonists. Bloody heck. <laughs> okay, that snuck up on me. Oh. Uh, yeah, we have turned creeper griefing and such off so they don't actually damage the area around them. And why aren't you fighting? Yeah, we know you, have, know you have a crossbow. Use it! Apparently, he wants to use it in self defense when he's under attack. The heck was that noise? Yeah, what was that? Okay, um, might as well grab some obsidian because we need to mail, 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 make a nether portal still. Uh, let's see. Dark oak log. That's some wool, not obsidian. Arc log woods. Okay. Uh, how are we with armor? We've lost our helmet, so we're taking that. And there we go. A lot of wood. There. So we could just put the rest back in. Well, I'll take a look at the cascading stuff later. For now... Let's see. We need one door. 
put it in the middle, then wood around it, and the build tool up top. It actually doesn't consume the build tool, which is nice. It, it doesn't take much to make a build tool, only cobblestone and two sticks, but still. At least you don't have to make up, like, you don't have to, have to make you know, hundreds of them or something. Yeah, that is good. <laughs> also, let's make a few chests. We um, could make upgraded way. chests, but just normal ones will do for now. Uh, question. Will the works, workers work better, the better the tools you give them? Yes, but they they need to be a certain level to be able to use uh, certain levels of tool. Okay, so what's the best weapon they currently be able to use? Uh, or it, tool? it works in tiers. So at first they can only use wood, then stone, iron, and so forth. Wood! Oh dear. That, that's gonna be sight. Them um, mining out the town hall with wood and pickaxes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It sounds like you're gonna need to give them a helping hand. There you go, that should be enough for now. Bring some oak saplings for growing and some dirt to actually grow it on. There. And this is good to know that they will help excavate things. Like, once they have some proper tools, we be able to let them work in the mines by themselves just fine. Yep. Also, uh, let's grab some extra wheat, but more specifically, some seeds. So we can start some food production downstairs as well. And yeah, we can take the quick way down again. There we go. Ow. Fall damage does hurt, but hitting your head against the wall at Mark 5, that doesn't hurt at all. See, I wonder if we should put some water on top of that to see if that helps uh, lower the fall damage or just less bounce. I think you can use water as a sort of air cushion by blocking it in with uh, signs. But I've never actually tried that myself. So for the moment, uh, let's pull out our build tool and see where we can plonk this thing down. So break this because we kind of want to get that stuff out of the way. Let's see. Wooden, warped, true dwarven. And that is also quite sizable for its task, actually. Yeah? Uh, wait, wait. Uh, what the... Okay, yeah, let's see if we can put it inside a wall instead that we can just mine out. Uh, let's bring it up a bit. Okay, I think the true dwarven stuff is cheap, uh, is cheaper than the other things in its materials, but it, in turn it requires a hell of a lot more of them. I think that's what's going on with this. So Dear. let's swap it to the stone, which should be... Actually, we should be able to make the more expensive things with the uh, project with the uh, project e stuff so for the moment move you up a bit and over here we can't have it overlap with the other buildings and oh there i missed that i'll actually remove this for the moment and plonk it down here instead Uh, yeah, move it over here, a bit this way. I want to make pathways between uh, the buildings, so it isn't all too cramped. Yeah, that's Three, probably a good idea. Five, or like and that. It's a stone building, so we still have a bit of a uh, the old war and feel as well. We can't, I suspect we can't decorate them afterwards. Yep. 
So if we if we build on it after they or if the if we let the NPCs upgrade it after, they will remove the decorations. So it's better to decorate it once it's max level. Yeah, but that will take quite a bit of time though. Uh, yeah. About lines up. There. But it's a stone building. This is makes most sense for here. Okay, great job on the placement of the builder's hut. However, that's not enough. You need to access it and click the build building button. Soon your citizen will be crafting new structures for the colony. Yep. Oh, hello, quick guides. Make sure to check out the building's pages. All the building's pages. Some buildings have extra help pages. Here you can have an overview of the combined building inv in the inventory. Understood. And at the moment, this is a level zero builder's hut. And let's see. Automatically, it has assigned Melissa V. Cobham as the builder because she has, well, each of the jobs uh, <clears throat> gets benefits from different stats that the NPCs have. When in this case, it'd be athletics for effects placement and breaking speed, and adaptability affects also placement and ability uh, breaking speed. And she at the moment does not have the highest. So. Uh, let's see, fire them and hire Quinn and Compton. Okay, yeah, you can set you know, yeah, over here, hiring mode. This will uh, let you either decide which character will take what job yourself. <clears throat> or if you let the uh, AI do it, and the AI isn't always the smartest. And Not yeah, good now enough, she eh? had, or she should have requests. Not good enough, eh? Uh, build options, ah, build building. There we go. Build request created for builders hut at colony and the location. And now I you should have some requests, or, pleasure. or not yet. Um, let's see. Required resources. Ew. Okay. Oh no, you are the builder. There we go. Yep. <laughs> what are no, you? She was the one that they originally assigned. Okay. Now the NPC has started work, and she should have requests for materials. Oh, I've forgotten that this was here. Uh, let's actually break that ourselves. And uh, we picked up something there, but I don't know what. Uh, yeah, she's now trying to map everything enough, by eh? hand. And no requests. Okay. Uh, let's help with the digging then. Since that's going to take her a lot of time otherwise. <laughs> Pardon. The uh, the line that this here that just what's around that's around the area where the building is going to go down. Allocate. Oh, she has a request. I serve with Let's see, I need a pickaxe. And uh, we'll work on it. Anything else? Just a pickaxe. And they need a wooden one. It's showing a different one because of the, all the mods, which also ha adds in other <clears throat> other pickaxes and tools of the same level. Uh, yeah, let's make some of those. Yeah, yeah I'm just basically going to need to give her a few since they do break. Yeah. And it's nighttime, so she's retreated back to, well, the, the supposedly only livable building at the moment. I serve with pleasure. Okay, for Phil. And if we had a bed down here, we could skip time today. Uh, but we don't, so we'll have to rush up and go head back. No, 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 no. Hmm? There is a bed nearby. Even one of the camps around here. Oh, uh, yeah, we can... Uh, that was this way, I think. Well, there's two of them, so I forgot which one is the closest. 
Uh, yeah, th I can recognize it by the minimap. It's this way because this is a dead end. Mm, we'll have to look into what the resonating crystal is with this thing. A nice little fallback place if needed. Okay. Actually, we can just put it down and immediately <laughs> get to sleep. So they will get to you know, start it uh, immediately. Okay. Um, let's see. Advancement. This is also a thing. We could use this to uh, get some milestones on what we could be trying next. It's, it has a lot for, well, a lot of things. We have a Tinker's first exploration. Uh, create blue skies, repurpose structures. There's a lot of those. And silent gear. But for now, we're going to focus on mine colonies. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. Required resources. We can add those and those. We need cobblestone slabs, torches and racks, and cobblestone wall. Okay. I 32 cobblestone slabs. Pleasure. Coming up. Rather a bit more than that, but oh well. Pardon. Pardon. I saw some walls in there. So we put those in as well. Oak logs and racks. Racks are some, a new item. And we actually broke down all of our oak uh, logs earlier, I think. <laughs> so that's a bit of a oops. Okay, might as well put down a quick little farm here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. I had to say this, Ilian, but you, your tree farms looks weird. Well, this is the easiest way to do it because uh, at standard, a tree uh, will grow its leaves two out. So, yeah, having four spaces of uh, air in between will allow both to grow around uh, it. That, that's, that's not the thing. That, that, that I understand. That makes sense. The thing is, you just put dirt in a cube. Just like that. Think, like, you yeah. don't dig a hole and plant it. No, no, you, you drop a pile. Then plant the seed in the pile. Uh, let's see. We don't have any bone mules to help grow these along. And yeah, at the moment she's digging out the flooring. So let's go help with that. We should head back soon to fill... To repair this, though. Probably should have brought some bronze bars down along with. And there it breaks. Okay. We'll just have to rely on the normal pickaxe for a bit. I should probably make a tinker's uh, pickaxe as well, but for the moment, a normal one will do. I get to build it again? And yeah, get. <laughs> get used to the chatter because they can get pretty chatty at times yep. this is your first time building it what the heck Oh, no, 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 tempted to listen to the wind rose but uh, that's copyrighted so as long as you and don't play it uh, on a cr over Discord, it shouldn't be audible here. I, sus yeah, I suspect it would be audible, so I will not do it. Okay. And the Windows is yeah. basically... It's an Italian band that started to do... First started like Sabda do one historical bell, 
fiend, but then they decide, no, let's do something unique. They went full dwarf, literally. They basically the only dwar dwarven heavy metal band. And they are damn good. I've listened to one of their songs, their cover for, of uh, Diggy Diggy Hole from the Yogg's cast. Um, yeah. I gotta say, that doesn't fit really. <laughs> They, they made another remake of that, that is a bit of a techno music with the music video. I think, I think they just did that for a little bit of more fun. But the only music they are damn good of is like Winter Saga, Gates of Ekrund, and many others. Uh, that's where I feel like, especially the Gates of Ekrund is uh, where they really shine, especially the music video. Okay, uh, you can link that in the Discord if you'd like. I think I linked you it before, several times. Well, I've, I've said about my memory plenty of times. I have a better. We can watch it together sometime. No, that, yeah, everything is dug out, so now they move over to the storage to get our, <clears throat> to get our material, and then they should get started on building. Or, actually, I think they, they should, even though the inventory isn't completely filled. And we need to go get some iron, because racks are built with iron nuggets. Oh, she has something to talk. I serve yeah, she, now pleasure. she's asking for materials. Okay, putting down dirt. And we should have enough time to go up and back down. Also, I should bring some... Actually, no, we have water over there. Actually, no, that, that wouldn't work. I, I was thinking we could build the our little farm around that, but you need a source block to act <clears throat> near uh, near crops and actually have them grow. Ah, uh, uh, what the heck was that? A fall damage. Oh, uh, here I thought you jumped on a, uh, a very sharp rock or something. Okay, up this way again. I should, I should look if there is a quicker way to get back up. I, we tried a water, water, a water elevator earlier uh, by trying to ride a boat up the waterfall, uh, which was at the original entrance to this place, but that didn't work. So well, uh, maybe it worked easier if it was some more straight waterfall. Probably. We can build that right next to this. Yeah. And also, we will sooner or later get to that waypoint for the more smooth for transport up and down. Yeah. Uh, for the moment, iron goes in there. And let's see. We'll probably have to start moving all of this stuff sooner or later. But actually, we don't. Because we will be getting, getting the waypoints. I should have plenty of iron here. Up there. Okay, just break that into bits. We, we do want to move our own little home down there at the end. Our own little great hall. Yep. Okay, uh, what was the recipe again? Rack. There. Okay, just log, build a stool, and that. And there. Two, just like they asked. And the iron is ready. So, yeah, back down. We bring some iron. I almost forgot. We need to repair the hammer. Because it, it didn't... Well, it broke, but it didn't disappear from our inventory. Uh, let's see. I should make a chest that is only metals. There we go. Bronze ing ingots. To repair stuff, we just go to here. Put that on there. Let not put that there. There we go. It's repairs should... a certain amount. You probably should build... Oh, wait, yeah. We're definitely going to build more of these once we make our new... Arcane Fort 2.0. Yeah, 
Yeah, we, we could have anvils of different materials because they look different uh, as well. <laughs> we take fall damage from that instead. No, 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 it's just me smacking you for giving me a heart attack. You know, slap at the back of the neck. Okay. Um, this should be enough to finish the builder's hut. And then we should have them get started on the town hall. Are you stuck on having Not these? Good enough, eh? More dirt. Okay. Preferably. And oak. Uh, we didn't bring enough dirt, but we should find enough around here. Here. And I, I, I probably should, I should have grabbed some bones as well. <laughs> to, make into, to make some quick trees. That's enough dirt. I get to build it again? Requests. Fulfill. And that should get them working again. Yep. Uh, oh, I should not have placed this one here because it's too close to the pillar. Oh, well, we'll, we'll correct the pillar instead. Suddenly, the entire cave collapses. In the, oh, it's night time again. Even though, well, it doesn't really matter if it's night or day in a freaking cave. Uh, wait, are you serious? I'm saying, are you running around with Shane Mailer socks? Yep. Shane Mailer boot. No, no, those are Shane Mailer socks. Good uh, game. And yes, that was a thing. You, they used to have a bit of socks of shade mail as early feet protection. It, it looked a bit silly, but... It was understandable why they used it. Uh, let's have a quick look. Wait, stone. Okay, not much difference. Stone bricks, easy enough to make. Obsidian, we can just get that out of the dungeon over that way. The warp stone is the difficult thing, for which we need four ender pearls, an emerald and purple dye, which we can make from purple mushrooms. Source berries, I, I think we have a source berry plant. And mixing red and blue dye. Yeah, okay. and I think it's also, we have plenty of mushrooms around here. Yes. Try not to eat them. Uh, yeah, let's avoid that. And also you, let's you, avoid opening that up too much. You, you just ate one, didn't you? Nope. Are you sure? What, what, what's the purple stuff around your lips then? <laughs> Obsidian. <laughs> well, I can't I like crunchy <laughs> treats? I think that would make you bleed. It's glass, you know? Yeah. Then let's block that back up. Uh, we should collect enough of this to make a portal, though we're not going to put that down in the middle of our colony, of course. Yeah, but... And we also need enough for the waystones. Now I think about it, we... We probably should make a portal house. Since we True. probably have uh, recipes for more than one portal, don't, don't we? Yep, we have the lunar one, we have the solar one. It's going to be twilight forest portals. Yeah, we definitely didn't need a, a portal room. And I wonder... Should we incorporate this uh, dungeon? Uh, we could, we could... We could basically t clean this place up a bit, uh, seal it off, <clears throat> and use this area for portals. Yeah, portal or storage, or actually probably better for portals, since at least it would be more secure for, in case something, um, 
unwanted uh, follows us. Yep. Let's, see. Let's light this place up good. There's plenty of redstones. Actually, you would make a perfect place for another pearl because you're basically already a finished one. Inventory full. Uh, let's throw out some diorite. Yeah, now I see what you mean. There. Then we can grab the gates or the bars here. And throw you out for a moment. There. Now we yeah, now you only need to... Yeah, you, only, you only now need to remember it's there. And one of the trees finished growing. Uh, yeah, that should be enough logs. We could probably move the portal further in later. Used to... Yeah, not have it too close to the village. You want even more dirt? I serve with Skip pleasure. All of that. I, I serve pressed the wrong thing again. Pleasure. Quests, fulfill, fulfill, and give you a torch as well. Is that all you need now for this? Or need even more dirt? No, I, I just. It probably didn't register yet, I hope. Or. Actually, we didn't give her that much, I think. Okay, nobody even spots where they can spawn. If this isn't enough, it should still tide her over for a bit. Yeah, it's not it's going to end up short. Ten specifically. Oh. Or we just take this out here. And yeah, like she's sitting here, there's no pleasure. guards at the moment. Uh, so that is affecting their happiness. Uh, we might build a, a guard tower second then. Or third after the freaking town hall. Actually, the town hall isn't too important, I think. It's probably going to take a while before it's finished to begin with. Pleasure. Okay, there we go. I don't know if she sounds sarcastic or not. Uh, let's go with uh, yes. In the meantime, we're finishing this off. We'll probably push this back eventually, but for the moment it should be okay. It's a temporary wall. And since we have a minimap of where our domain should be, we will be nowhere to block off. Yeah. And looks like the south port might lead to biggest gate um, wall, maybe. Yeah, that's the biggest open area. We can dig At into the walls, but not the first yet. Okay. For now, it's mm. going to be a bit of a waiting game on this one. So let's go up. For one, to get some more food. And for let's put those chests down here so we don't forget them. It's going to be our temporary storage for the moment. I serve with pleasure. And yeah, there's not <laughs> there's not many different voice actors. Enough, eh? Shut up. Here we go. Here we go. Hilt's all starts. 
Helium and the NPCs getting into arguments. Just grabbing this so we can turn the lapis into into dye, and I think we can turn redstone into dye as well. If not, we can use it on the hammer to speed up digging. The fuck? Yep, a spider got over the wall. I probably should have expected that. <laughs> Full of off. Well, now we know she's not gonna work next day. Uh, let's take those. That. I know of a way of how to block spiders easily enough. We just need to add a, a, a ledge. And, yo, she's been working fast. <laughs> I serve yeah. with pleasure. There she's. We're actually continuing to work. Okay. Well, they're gonna moon the next day. Oh, uh, yeah. We should probably make a compass. Not a compass, a, a watch to keep track of that. And uh, what was I. Yeah. Spider protection, and we already have it. I, I, normally, it would take a lot longer for colonists to start showing up, but these first four are probably are going to be easy on that. It seems. Don't think it should be able to climb up that. Just in case. And by placing a block away from the wall, it also prevents anything from jumping in. Well, anything besides us, at least. Oh, oh crap, Blood Moon. <laughs> Uh, luckily, there aren't many places for the, them to spawn here. Blood Moon! Seriously? There. Yeah, as it is, when we start walling off the proper areas, just I would wall straight up to the roof if possible. That should yeah. keep anything out. We should probably have some uh, something like glass windows or iron bars just to be able to see out. Yep. As well. Would probably be prettier than just a flat out wall. And yeah, looking at it from the other side, our wall was pretty flawed from the start. <laughs> That should keep anything on this side, on this side. We have matriculations! I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah, and we can't actually sleep because of the blood moon. So we'll just have to wait that out. Uh, so yeah. Instead, let's head top side. Oh, purple see mushroom! Purple have. mushroom! Purple mushroom! You just run past it. There we go. Good boy! Who's a good captain? Who's a good captain? Please don't remove my sandwich privileges. Yes. <laughs> okay. We're going to need eight though. So tiny pile of redstone. And that can be done into nothing. Okay. Uh, let's actually take a quick look again then warpstone purple dye red dye we can make that from poppies tulips beetroot red pepper plants Ooh, roses we have enough of those yeah rosebush 
Okay. If you are lucky, we should have some purple plants to be able to do it from. Yeah, we have uh, we have a lot of rose bushes still from the fight in the rose fields, and even then we could get more if needed. The most annoying thing with ladders is that you can fall off the side, so I might put down blocks along the side to prevent yeah, that. Uh, how, how are you climbing? With my feet? <laughs> yeah, just... Uh, that was a close-up. Yes, but like, look like you were climbing earlier from backwards or something. And get away from us, Batman wannabe. Okay, for a moment I th thought that was a name title over there, but no, there's just white flowers over <laughs> a zombie's head. Oh no, I just remember something. Hmm? Batman used to have a Swedish name which has fallen out of favor, but it was more used of, of uh, back when Batman was more of a comedy show with the live action. You know, na 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 Batman. He's called Lair the Lappen, which roughly translates to Leather Note. Okay. Uh, I, think, I think you can see from that alone why that may have fallen out of favor when he turned a bit more serious. Okay, we have elevators and elevator mod. Okay. For that we need wool and ender pearl. Okay. How many ender pearls do we actually have? If we can find them. We should have a few. We have some emeralds. We just need another one. Um so we need there. I thought we had some ender pearls at least. Yeah, we should have some in the post. What the heck is going on? Also... Gavin, are you home? He sounds home. He is home. Okay. You're under house arrest. <laughs> Okay, now I'm curious. What the heck happened to the in the poles? Oh, oh, we have some fragments here. We, I know got... I accidentally used one of them. So we, we definitely need anymore. to get to the nether to hunt some endermen. And we can also do it on the overworld here. Just let me grab the horse armor. And where's the saddle? What? You're gonna wear the horse armor? No, if we uh, run into a horse, I'm going to tame it. Oh, right. Do I wonder what else you can tame and ride? Uh, there it is. Well, we can put saddles on pigs, but it isn't going to do much. Without a carrot on the stick, at least. Yeah, oh, what was the name of the, the dwarf on the hobbit who rode a pig? There, there were like a dozen dwarves, so it's <laughs> only one of them rode a pig. It was in the third movie. We was two days to salting off. It's one of these again. Now you're not, you have a lot less health. I, I think that zombie is making the music. Bits Are we facing a disco? Apparently. Disco band? <laughs> it is definitely it's the one with the hat! It's this one here. Oh no, it's him. 
For a moment, I thought the one with the white hat was Michael Jackson. And he uh, wait, that's a villager. Yeah. Uh, you told me of them before. And I do have a bucket, and we do have some cows. Cows, cows back the other way. Uh, I think you need good apple or carrots as well. Either way. Uh, let's lure it. Oh, that's a lot more all of a sudden. I think you can kill him for it's way too early to... We, we are far from ready to save him and he will probably die by the sun. Uh, oh dear. I was thinking about digging a pit underneath it. And then sealing it off. Yeah, it's getting sunrise anyways. It's getting too sunrise anyways. Or, actually, I don't have many blocks at the moment. Let me correct that. Um, hello. Uh, I'm up here. I don't think they understand how to sw They sink to the bottom, they can't swim. I thought they definitely could swim, but maybe there's some, that's part of a mod that's put out of or something. Either way, we need to decide a little bit out of front of you. That's me suffocating. Yeah, maybe leave him alone. It, it, it's not worth it. Yeah. Besides, I don't know a thing about uh, just working with villagers at all. Oh, oh, they're turning into drowns. Oh. Uh, That's what's going on with them. That I did not know. don't know if that's a mod or that's actually a thing. Okay, I was going to look around for Enderman. What, 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 what are you doing? What? You're poisoning her water supply with zombie flesh! This isn't connected to this water. You're still a water source. And it seems the villager isn't turning. So we could try and lock it in somewhere. it stays in the water it should stay safe yeah that did say as long as it stays in the water uh, okay there i don't think you can escape now you well you can do that still you can't escape now slowly jump off the ledge well done, Captain. Oh, and the build is done. Okay. There. Now he's stuck. Oops, also without water. water. Break that. There. Now he should be safe. And now we can go get that milk. <laughs> yeah, we have a pool zombie. Milk. Uh, probably put... Helian! Uh, oh, you didn't drink it. Oh, good, good. There's so many things you just drank the milk. Okay. Uh, how do I use this on you? To throw it to you. Mm, I don't nope. think that's how you cue them. If you need a, a meal, you can go to an apple and such. That's why I'm telling you, not worth bothering for you don't have everything needed. But it's, I don't think it's just milk. Okay. 
Well, at least we have it captive for the moment. We'll see if it despawns or not. And yeah, we're going to have to hunt Enderman. Yeah, th th ain't it easy to find Enderman in the Nether? Yep. Since yeah, they they are there a lot. So let's see. We should have some flint. Yep. Iron we should have probably have some chest in that room as a loot drop-off point. Yeah. Um, dirt. I think we should have left some logs behind. Okay, we'll use these then. Might as well see what uh. wood they make. Okay. Gray wood. This probably won't affect how the chests look. Nope. Okay. Pity. Flint and steel. Put away these. Are you need to need to bring the bones with you? Now we could use that for bone meal, and and, and our underground farm. Um, and whilst we're working on this, we can see if we can make that water elevator right away. Uh oh. So. We have, have one block to the sides. I don't actually know how water elevators work, so I'm just going to work off of how I think they work at the but, moment. Wh why don't you just use in the same hole as the ladder? Yeah, because the water is going to break the ladders, I think. I think you should be able to carefully apply it without breaking it. Just like the other side of it should be good. See? Was it that hard? All right, the. <laughs> Just in time. Not fully what I was working towards, but oh well. Uh, let's. Now, if I do put this here and try to get in, it does nothing. It keep, it even takes me out of the uh, out. Can you stream up it? Is regularly? Yeah, but that's going to take a lot longer than than just working through the uh, the ladders. Yeah, if you had some seaweed and put it there. It would uh, shoot you up. So However, we should be able to build regular elevators, it seems, anyway, so... Yeah, but we need... Uh, we need ender pearls for those as well. Yeah, moment, as I said, soon. Elevator, yeah, for the moment, the uh, waypoints is going to get priority on that. Well, the waypoint would be just way better. True. Uh, I'm missing the one bits. Okay, there they, they are. It's enough for four of these. Let's give this one shot. No, it's pushing us. It pushes the, us down. Um, let me take a quick look to look up how one of these water elevators actually works. Let's see. Minecraft water elevator 1.18. can also move the stats bar 
from OBS to the side. Uh, that's the easiest way. Let's see. Okay. Atoms to have soul sand for upward, magma block for downwards, grass blocks, what? Um, okay, I failed to see how soul sand is supposed to help with making an upwards water uh, elevator. Okay, I did not know you could use soul sand for that, but if it works, it works. And all the more reason for us to go to the nether then. Okay, close that off. And yeah, we'll just have to clean that up on the way back <laughs> up. Yeah, let's try not to lose track of our uh, uh, quest. Quest, yes. Our quest for ender pearls, basalt, pork. Uh, we don't have any golden armor at the moment. So we will have to avoid the piglins. And yeah, this is now done. And we can... S mm, let's not set them to work on the, <laughs> on the town hall next. Build tool. We don't have anything for a guard tower. But for that, I think we need a bow anyways. So yeah, let's, let's make, head in here. Let's make guess. You plan to... Uh... Help out a bit of uh, town hall yourself. Yeah, I probably need to. Do I wonder? Wait, do you have enough space in the bags now? Yeah, we have those chests we can put down. Yeah, that should keep most stuff out. And for safety, let's put this down here. We can leave those behind. There's no use for that or that. Uh, you need flint and steel for the portal. Yeah. There we go. Let's take some of the cobblestone with. And... Melissa, the help are you doing underneath there? Oh well, let's generate the nether. Side sands. Oh, and it me oh that's that's nice. It's a lava slime here. Oh, and immediately Wait. Oh no uh, immediately piglins. What? That and uh, don't dig under the portal. I think that's yeah. ash. Yeah, it's uh, sand. Okay, we did oh, we so, have sand. but Oh we didn't fall. Oh it I'm just going to dig out around it and put down cobblestone. Just in case. Avoid the piglin over there. Just in case like that, it shows, yeah. I think we need some safety railings as well. near yeah, I almost hit that and would have pissed off all of the porkers porkers really there we go now we shouldn't And we shouldn't you go. fall down or so. Oh, yeah. We can send them falling down out. Do you want get, quartz? Do you just get beaten up by quartz? <laughs> no, I got stabbed in the ass by quartz. <laughs> Ow. Uh, we can use quartz to actually make our weapons do more damage. <laughs> 
So we definitely want a lot of that. So this is a very good area to have spawned in on. Okay. Um, what's your opinion on this biome so far? It's very dusty. Yeah, Other but it's also quite useful. Yeah, but it's also. I mean, so it, it's kind of unsettling at the same time. Yeah, all of the Nether is unsettling. Wait, shouldn't you have a a mask on? or something probably but we don't and we can find some cobalt and cobalt we want because that's a very powerful material yeah the, i actually told my bad dad about that one time and he told me making armor and weapons from cobalt is a really stupid idea Probably because it's toxic to some degree. Uh, not only that, like if you try to make a sword out of cobalt, Oops. it may explode. Okay, that's a new one. So when you see a fantasy game, like for some of us, this was a new Raphael Leach game, World of Warcraft, there you can make this cobalt armor and sword. And I mentioned that to my dad. Uh, I wonder if he knew about the uh, envy about cobalt. And he said that you should never make weapons, sword, and armor from that. Just trying, just heating it up and trying to forge it will make it explode. All right. So yeah, don't hammer hot cobalt. Blackstone. Do I don't know you, you I know cobalt is used for something, but I don't know what. Yeah, it's used with electronics and something. Yeah, and I suspect they have a, a safer way to refine cobalt. That does it involve directly hammering it. <laughs> okay, I get the feeling mostly Pigs are going to be spawning in this biome, so we will have to find our way to a different one. The forest ones is where oh, I speak, and there it is, is where a lot of endermen spawned, or at least on Coravel's server. And okay, for a moment I thought I saw something blue, but no, it was the crosshair in the darkness. What was that? Ambient noise. Okay, now we have these things again. Alien's favorite. Light shroom. Just don't Which eat actually them. <laughs> they could not make sense in our uh, dwarven town, actually. Yep. If we only... Hmm. We should be able to make an a imitation mushrooms down there, shouldn't we? They have like mushroom street lights. Okay. Or we could put them in uh, pillars. That works too. Okay, more pigs. Nope. Okay, maybe we should head back already. What the Behind you! Oh. Sneaky little fucker. Seems the kids in ignore you. <laughs> he got killed by quartz. <laughs> okay, let's just hack back carefully. Avoid any other non undead uh, porkers. And also, let's avoid fall damage. You can fall oh, but don't you have anything to eat? There. Nope. I think I'm we used up all of the ones that we had that we brought with us. 
Okay, yeah, need to carefully return home. The heck is that? Uh, Yeah, what is that? Soul sand. We can use that. Yeah, we need some soul hand sand for a thing. But for what is that? Tongue, for some reason, my tongue slipped to uh, Scorchia, to two blacks instead of two blocks er, but earlier. <laughs> I don't know where the hell that came from. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, eat these? Yeah, we can if we mix them with the other and wooden bowls. So let's just be careful not to punch the pigs. <laughs> then we can go grab some wood, make bowls, and make some mushroom stew. Aris don't feel like we definitely need to fort the heck. Yeah, we definitely need to fortify that. Yeah. Especially since I just heard a ghast. Yeah, if a ghast sees you, if we fire at you. So yeah, we're gonna need to encumber the whole thing. Uh, wait, I, th I thought I had wood, which still I do not. Uh, so much for our... Oh. There was soul sand here as well. So much for our Enderman hunt. Yep. Uh, at least we're alive and keep our stuff. And really, none of these have grown. Maybe the mods pre uh, prevent them from growing underground like this? I think... I think this one at least might be being blocked by stuff above it. Oh, but the, another mouth of... Citizens need to eat to be able to work. Put some food in your citizen inventory so they can eat it when they need to. I don't think they can starve to death, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to need to automate some food production. Um, strawberry seeds... Yeah, a, a wheat farm is definitely on to do list. So we're gonna, we're probably gonna need to expand the farm upstairs. There is should be automated you know, automatable farms in one of the other mods. But for now, let's just grab this. Yeah, there's plenty of freaking soul sand. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna need to repair the ground here a little bit. Some more saplings, some wheat. Uh, uh, let's see. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh let's dear. Let's see what that soul sand does with water blocks. For now, I put away the freaking sand I was going to use. Uh, we still need water, though, to grow something. So we'll just have to go grab that source up there. Because I don't think there's any other water nearby. Oh, there's over there. And some sort of bird is whistling a lot outside. I don't think it can be heard on the mic. Any other water sources near? It doesn't look like it. Okay, then we just grab that one. Then we can make an infinite water source. And we should be okay. Ale. Perfect little spots. Not drown. Uh, which of these are you flowing from? There you are flowing from. Oh, I thought we were to keep it as a decoration. Yeah, we can put it back some other time. For now, we have a water source. And let's remove.
remove this one. Two, three, four. Three, four. It's going to be a bit undersized like this, but I will. And no wood. We do have the bones with which we can make the bone meal and make force one of these to grow up. There we go. And that also gives us a bit of extra food. What the? Where did you come from? <laughs> Yeah, definitely gonna need guards. I think it dropped down from over there. Hmm. Arrow there. Any other foods? If you had those. Hey, did you just eat something that you could do purple dye from? Elderberry, I believe so, yeah. But we have no real... Why does it keep adding in things that I don't want it to? Yeah, we have we have a plant of that grown upstairs, I believe. Mm, hello. Warm uh, bowl meals will keep you uh, healing steadily no matter how hungry you are. Okay. So that's a good reason to keep uh we have an effect here comfort okay all right so that's a reason to well keep making mushroom stew for now though uh oh, hello what's this arcs and blue skies oh this is this is from the journal that we got Let's see, it was certain bricks, no. Everdawn, yeah, Everdawn is the one. We need a zeal lighter to activate it. Though I don't know how to make those. Hmm. Let's see, at the moment, what can we make with colony? Let's see, build the mine, feeding the masses, build a restaurant to give your citizens a place to get food. The cook will cook meats and give food to you and your citizens. Uh, chop, chop, complete building the forester hut. Uh, library, which you need for res uh, research, fishy, fishing, food production with, to start food production with for your citizens, build a farm. You'll need to place the field, scout row, to mark where your farmer will farm. Okay. And store, storage, build warehouse to uh, store materials in the central location. And from there, the courier's hut. Okay. So for um, it to be guardhouse and farmhouse. Uh, actually, build, building a fishery should be easier because they, you, for farms, you need to keep making compost, I believe. Oh. And fish can just be made, well, be caught directly. Uh, you just need to make a, a fishing area for them. Okay, we'll have to, we'll have to postpone our hunt for ender pearls. And let's see, fish. at mine colony. Here we go. A fishing rod and planks. Okay. Uh, do we have any string in storage? Any what? So looking at the time. Have we have a string upstairs? Uh, yeah. I, I think have we have. We, hmm? should, we are almost at the end of the. We are almost at two hours about. So yeah, I, I think I'll hunt for Enderman off screen so we can make the portals or the waystones. Uh, so that we can just zip back and forth in between without having to run back and forth instead. Yeah, that would be more very practical. Now we have a uh, <clears throat> now we have a chance to test that soul sand. Yeah, I 
I just... I don't know what that's supposed to do in interaction with water. I presume it's supposed to give an upward stream, but... Why would it give an upward stream? Is it something to do with the souls? Maybe. No. Actually, we can miss four of those. Mm, this isn't going any faster than normal, I think. And it's about the same speed like this. Mm. It is. Yeah. It's, it's might be safer. I'll look into what's supposed to be going on with yeah, an upward water elevator. Uh, but I'll I'll do that off stream as well. For now, though, and yeah, that's the slime island where we got the slime from. If you couldn't tell from the water and the <laughs> the nerd pole up there. Yeah, it has a little bit of a leakage. Meantime, let's store this. I'll probably breed the animals a bit more. Wait. Probably get a horse as well. We don't have string? Right. Zeal lighter, which is chariot and moon. Okay, definitely need, <laughs> need to look more into that but some other time. Uh, let's see. String, 46 here. Oh, I missed it. Let's see. I think... Where are they? Definitely going to need to make a bigger storage as well. With the spawners that we've been breaking in that dungeon, we should at some point be able to make uh, a spawner of our own. And it would probably be a good idea to have it spawn skeletons, so we can set up a mob trap for, well, killing them and getting their bones which can be ground into bone meal for the farming then. Where are those fragments? Hmm. Let's see. Spawn, there they are. If you double click this here, uh, it'll highlight anything with that in its name. That's of course one of, of a that's also of a mod, of course. Uh, let's see. Lens of Varietas? What? Uh, quantum Catcher? Uh, okay. Being an Archon? It's not like that we might have some magical weapons, maybe. Hmm. Okay, I'll definitely need to look into if we can even make spawners of our own then. But for now, let's rest in here, now that Gavin is under house arrest. And yeah, this might be a few minutes early, but let's call it here. Actually, no, I think we had a shorter uh, pre-stream, and I think we did start at about 8 p.m. And it's, well, it's now 3, 2, 1 one minute from 10 so yeah one minute less uh, we can let that slip if one or so twice so yeah uh, off stream I'll get a horse if possible I'll work on the elevators uh, maybe set up a bit of basic infrastructure with the colony like a guard tower and a fishery and a restaurant uh, at the very least, a fishery and a restaurant, so that they don't actually starve if it is even possible. I don't know if they can or not. Yeah, yeah, do let me know so I can uh, be there and guide you and such if needed. Yeah. Unless I must sleep. Not for now. Uh, thank you anyone who's been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Pramcio. Uh, uh, thank you, Pramcio Six. Good to see you again. Uh, I'll have to, I'll have to see what you've been up to on Discord during this. Uh, hopefully you've behaved, and of course thank you as well, Rick here. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. Nope. Uh, the map just finished saving. So save and quit the title.
and let's see if there's anyone to raise. Uh, I get axe and cannons. <laughs> Come on, Brave Browser, open up. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Shrimp OS. Oh, Storytime John and Lil Tree. Uh, Lil Tree is live. Uh, Storytime John is someone I know from a Gade and a different server. Um, so, so we raid them or Lil Tree? Hey, Lil Tree. Okay. Um, Why do. Again, this site keeps unmuting itself. Okay, just nick the name. Head over to the own channel. And there we go. Slash raid. Paste. There. Okay. Uh, yeah. I have tomorrow and the next day after that uh, free. So I think... I'm thinking about doing the first Sanzara stream tomorrow that will make this uh, three streams in, in a row but I should probably avoid doing streams on nights before I have an early shift because yeah, uh, I didn't have a good sleep and made the shift quite a pain in the ass today hmm well yeah uh, Sanzara should hopefully work well. It has worked during tests. We'll just have to see if it behaves with OBS and active streaming. And I really hope it does because it is also another one of my favorite games. I hope the same for, uh, again, I'm quite curious of it. Yeah. For now though, thank you all again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, folks! And watch out for seagulls!